There was official confirmation today of the extent of London's property boom. The Office of National Statistics said house prices rose nearly 20% in the past 12 months. For families looking to move out of the capital in search of more space but a longer commute, new research could help them decide where to look. Chris Rogers explains. House prices in London have been rising by as much as £4,500 a week. It's no wonder increasing numbers of families are cashing their equity and swapping their small flat for a large house in the home counties. But the map of London's traditional commuter belt is changing. Take the Moen family, for instance. In April, they moved 80 miles out from Wandsworth to Pusey in Wiltshire. We found the school that we liked, and then we found this house. We wanted a bit more space, we wanted more garden, we want, you know, wanted to have fields to look out over. Technology is also playing its part. Working from home part-time takes the sting out of a long commute. I probably would have struggled to do that five days a week just because it is that, probably that, that bit further. Um, and I think by being able, to, uh, being able to do what I do and have those couple of days at home, actually I find that I'm more productive when I'm at home than actually when I'm in the office. For James, it's an hour and a half's train journey to the capital. I'm not crammed in like a sardine on uh, the northern line. I get a seat, uh, I can sit back, I can read the paper. Life After London is offering online help to Londoners researching the fabulous country piles that their basic hackney flat could buy them. The ideal for people is certainly what we call home in an hour. So it's an hour on a mainline station. But beyond that, people will go for two hours, so that's a four-hour commute in a day. But for lots of people, work is changing, so they might be doing that four days a week rather than five days a week. And I think that's quite critical to people's sort of sense of well-being. This is a map of affordability, produced by a transport analyst who has added the cost of a season ticket from every station to the average monthly cost of a mortgage. The areas coloured red are the most expensive. They are the more traditional commuter belts, such as Cobham, which costs an average of £4,556 a month, and Canterbury West, which will set you back £1,413. But it's the cheaper places in green that increasing numbers of Londoners have been tempted to head to. Swindon, near James's home in Pusey, costs just over £1,000 a month, and so does Folkestone. But the green areas on that map in the distant future could become red as demand on housing and train journeys increases, so could the prices. Chris Rogers, BBC London News, at the end of the line at Paddington Station.